Hello, Keith and me. Congratulations on reaching the final of RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. Ah, can you believe it? How crazy. What were your thoughts watching the last episode? Oh my gosh, I felt really heartbroken. I uh, regretted uh, saying Electra's name in hindsight. <laughs> mm. um, other than that, from a selfish perspective, I'm, I feel very proud and um, just really excited um, that I'm still there. So. You should be proud. You should be very proud of yourself. Well, Keita, we're not here to fuck spiders. Damn! I could really go for fucking a daddy. Daddy long wings. Oh no, it's gonna be one of those interviews I can tell, I love it. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be making a yearbook on your time on the show, okay? okay? But there's a catch. You must nominate your fellow queens in the following year but categories, but there's only one rule. You can't nominate yourself. Oh, deal. Category is... Best look. Oh gosh, that's such a hard one. Oh gosh, I'm shit with this. If you saw the way when they filmed me, that like RuPaul's like, hurry the fuck up, Keto. <laughs> <laughs> that's some tea. Um, do you know what I really, really enjoyed was in the last episode, Art Simone's garden uh, mechanical butterflies yeah, look. That was fierce. Yeah. And especially with, you know, drag race and butterflies being a thing. I'm glad that she managed to do it well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I've, I've always been absolutely in love with Art Simone and her looks. Mm. And um, so, you know, the best look has to be one of hers. And like that just like, yeah, stands out for sure. So she's so clever and like putting like cat toys in it like just she's just so on love it so polished so refined mm. i mean a true queen i was gonna say your last runway actually your last two runways for me have been extraordinary and been oh. so well and i was like this she needed to win and <laughs> win she may do <laughs> ah! You're too sweet. Stop, I'm trying to butter you up, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you just call me a crumpet and you keep buttering. <laughs> and in England, we like crumpets. So come over here, babes. I've got a lot of butter for you. Let me seep into the gaps, girl. <laughs> There's a lot of holes in it. That's like, we need to stop. <laughs> Category is... Class Clown. Oh, right. Well, I can't nominate myself. <laughs> so, you know who, honestly, um, and I absolutely vibe with is Coco Jumbo. Coco Jumbo, I can feel that. I can feel that. She has this like um, youthful joy about her. Like she doesn't worry about what anyone's like thinking. She just like makes the joke, giggles, and she doesn't care if no one else is giggling. Like as long as she's enjoying it, like that's all that matters. And like that resonates with like my spirit as well. I can imagine that was like very much needed when filming Drag Race, do you know what I mean? Oh like, yeah, totally. You need those personalities who could just be like, let's have a laugh. And especially, you know, like um, they're creating a show, right? So everything's like mm. very serious a lot of the time. Like, okay, mm -hmm. so like now this is what we need and you know, uh, but like, you know, I'm just such a little kid at heart. So like, I really, really appreciated Coco's ability to just be stupid. <laughs> Category is Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Anita Wiglet would love mm -hmm. me to say Anita Wiglet. <laughs> but the fact that she wants me to say Anita Wiglet <laughs> proves that she's not Miss Congeniality. <laughs> um, Miss Congeniality, honestly, is Maxi Fields. Oh, 100%. Honestly, heart of gold, a true superstar. Yeah. I'm with you. Um, with the show almost being over, were there any sort of moments that we, we, the audience, didn't get to see that you wish we had seen? Oh, um... I mean, there was a couple of things. Um, there was a couple of things that I remember saying that didn't didn't um, kind of make it, but I was kind of like glad. <laughs> um, so no, you know, everything that we saw um, like happened. There wasn't any kind of big events that we didn't see, but maybe some like random quips that maybe um, that that didn't make it the cut. But you know about it, and you share it with your sister, so it's probably nice to have a little bit of something that you can all, you know mill over the world didn't get to see. Yeah, absolutely. And there is actually something, um, there is something notable, but like, I think it would be well out of my NDA to, <laughs> to tell you, but we'll just wait until um, this uh, call has wrapped. <laughs> And the call is wrapped, don't worry. So this time next year, I'm just going to come back on here and we're just going to have a talk over everything, basically. Yeah, deal. Brilliant, absolutely. <laughs> there we go. Pop buzz, you heard it here first. Me, Keith, and me, and we're back again this time next year. <laughs> Category is... Shadiest Queen. 
And like the best way, I would say Jojo's a hoe. Jojo's a hoe. She she knows how to be sh- like Jojo is the loveliest queen you will mm-hmm. ever meet. But mm-hmm. like she just knows how to like be your best friend and she can like still just like fucking fire out those fucking reads. <laughs> those those confessionals were very shady. I was living. Yeah. It was my first take into Australian drag. And I went, okay, you lot are shady, but it is like, Yeah, the real tea is she is not mean. Mm. Like, that's, that's the thing. And, you know, I think that's a sign of a good drag queen, someone that can, like, really go there. And she wasn't afraid to, like, be full sass, but, like, she has a heart of gold, that one. Heart of gold. Well, look at that. Mm. JoJo's the hoe. Category is Biggest Bogan. 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 I would, ah, uh, it would be between. <laughs> Maxi and Art. Okay, Art's got quite a few to be fair. Has she? Uh, yeah. L- let's go with Art then. <laughs> I-, I heard that she'd probably be proud of that as well, so... Oh, there you go. There you go. Maxi will be like, F*** you, Keita. Yeah. <laughs> Maxi will be like, I'm not a bogan. And Nita will be like, I'm Miss Congeniality. Reality, yeah. <laughs> Keita's here to stir the pot, everybody. You heard it here first. Honestly, that's why I'm always hungry, because I'm always stirring the pot. <laughs> I'm surprised there's anything left in the pot to be fair, Keita, to be deadly honest with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, assuming the show will be back for a second season, is there anything else you'd like to see on the show a bit more or something that they didn't include this time around? Oh, gosh. Um, mm. oh, I don't know. I th- There's been so many critiques of, like, the entire show. But mm. the reason why it's hard for me to answer is because there's been so many critiques, but I've been watching it like just loving it. And I've loved every episode Mm. of every franchise of Drag Race. So Mm. like, Mm. I find it hard to kind of pick out the negatives because I just love drag and Drag Race so much. So I don't know, like just more more queens, more episodes maybe? Oh, maybe Uh, just more drag. I would love to see Drag Race with like an extensive range of drag. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely 100% agree. I I think, yeah, more drag the better, really. The world is filled with so many beautiful drag artists. We, they all need a platform, they all need to be shown, and we need to gag because we would. Yeah, absolutely gag. (laughs) And I do love gagging, (laughs) it brings a tear to my eye. It's your best quality, really. Okay, Keita, last thing. We always end these videos with a yearbook quote. And that quote could be anything you want to be remembered by. So what is your yearbook quote? Oh, can I steal it? Can I quote someone's quote? I guess so. Why not? You're the final of Jack Race. Do what you want. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, a quote that I have um, lived by and absolutely, um, I think I think it sums up everything you need to do in this life is don't dream it, be it. Oh, Gita, that's so lovely. <laughs> I'm with you. Don't dream it, be it. Well, Gita, me, thank you so much for this lovely interview. I've had a great time. I just want you to plug yourself. Where can we find you? Where can we find you, mate? Oh my gosh. Um, so you can find me usually uh, in the bogs down at the park. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, grinder while I'm on tour. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I'm doing a half off at the moment. I just oh. like bite uh, halfway down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram. It's all just um, ketamine. K I T A mean like I'm nasty, but um, mm-hmm. only after a few drinks. <laughs> Only after a few drinks. That's not what I said. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Kimmy. I can't wait for you to come over to the UK to do some shows. I'm going to be there at the front row cheering you, probably throwing a lot of shade. But you know what? We're sisters now, so this is what we've got to do. Yes, YG, I can't wait. Let's hit it hard. Absolutely. So I want to thank you so much. You've been amazing. And I'll drop me a message on Instagram so we can have a little chat and be more shady. Do you know what I mean? It's what Done we do now. Deal. Yeah, and I'll be spilling all that tea for you. Oh, but, whoo, listen, the kettle's boiling. The kettle, you hear the kettle? The kettle is boiling. <laughs> thank you so much, Keaton. Have a lovely evening and take care of yourself. Mwah. You too, YG. 